I'm Roberta Hutchinson. I've been a member of the Idaho Conference for 44 years. I was raised on a ranch when I was a kid, and I had a brother and a sister, and my brother stayed on the ranch with the folks. And oh, I remember my dad, whenever we were on a roundup, uh, getting ready to take the cattle somewhere, he never set a, an alarm for anything, except when he wanted to get up early and drive the cattle. And then he would stay awake to listen for the alarm. And finally he'd get tired and he'd wake all of us up and we'd go down in the middle of the night, saddle up, and then we'd go out and sit on a hill somewhere on the horses and wait for it to get light enough so we could see the cows. <laughs> and then eventually my folks got to the point that they needed to bow out of the ranching business. And, and so they, gave a portion of the ranch to each one of us kids. There's nothing sure but death and taxes. I don't have any kids. Uh, so what was I going to do with, with the, the property I owned? We just really need to, to help the church along too. The, the mission goes on whether we're here or not. I went to the conference office and uh, I talked to Don Klinger and Eve Rusk and and they kind of guided me into several different types of trusts, of which I didn't know anything about. With their help, I decided on the Charitable Remainder Trust. I would definitely do it again, and I would encourage others to do, the, do it too, because it just takes the load off of yourself. They're doing it, doesn't cost anything, so why not do it? If I had sold it, I would have had capital gains to, to uh, pay on it. And you know, you look back and I don't know how far back they go, but my dad paid $15 an acre back in 47. So turning it over into this charitable remainder trust, I put it in their hands to sell it. I didn't have to do anything. And so now uh, monthly, I. I receive a check. They got a lot more than I could have by having the money investing it myself because I would have been taxed. I don't have to worry about anything. Now I, I get a check every month. I have a means of giving to other ministries and, and providing a, a worry-free life of my own. And in the end, the conference will get the money what's left. I enjoy giving to nine different ministries and to our, our school and our preschool. It's a, a joy to have funds that you can give. Now everyone needs to, to have a plan for, for when they're no longer here and what's going to happen to their stuff and uh, have a, a trust or a, uh, an estate plan so it's all taken care of. We never know what's going to happen to us. We may be alive now, but dead tomorrow. <laughs> Fun to give your money away.